Hello everyone. Welcome to new class. Today's class is about super node analysis. So we have discussed about mesh analysis, then mesh analysis by inspection method, then super mesh analysis, also nodal analysis, then nodal analysis by inspection method. Next is super node analysis. So consider this network. So here there is a voltage source between these two nodes. So in that cases the nodal analysis is difficult to apply. So to overcome that we will apply super node analysis. So, if any of the branches in the network has a voltage source, then it is slightly difficult to apply the nodal analysis. To overcome this difficulty, we apply super node technique. So, in this method, two adjacent nodes that are formed by a voltage source are reduced to a single node. So, these two nodes are reduced to a single node and equations are formed by applying the case here. So, here these two nodes are considered to be a single node called the super node and we apply KCL at that super node also here we will apply KVL so here we will apply KVL and to the reduced node we have to apply KCL so consider this network here there are 1 2 3 4 so 4 nodes are there so 4 minus 1 3 equations will be there so let us apply KCL at node 1 so KCL at node 1 we will get V1 divided by R1 then plus V1 minus V2 divided by R2 equal to I. Because this I is flowing towards this node. So, this is positive. So, this is the first equation. Then, second equation is here between these two nodes there is a voltage also. So, these two nodes we have to consider as the super node. So, apply KCL at the super node that is combined nodes of 2 and 3. So here we will get V2 minus V1 divided by R1 plus here V2 divided by R3 then plus here V3 divided V3 divided by R5. V3 divided by R5 then plus here V3 then this is plus to minus that is minus. So V3 minus Vy divided by R4. V3 minus Vy divided by R4. Then here there is no current source so equal to 0. So equal to 0 that is the second nodal equation that is after simplifying, we will get the simplified nodal equation. Now, we have to apply KVL between these two nodes. That is applying KVL between 2 and 3 nodes. We will get V2. Then here plus to minus that is minus Vx. Then minus V3 is equal to 0. Or we can write V2 minus V3 equal to Vx. So, this is the third nodal equation. So, in this way 
we are applying the super node analysis let us do a problem in the circuit shown using nodal analysis find the voltage across 40 ohm resistor and the power supplied by this 5 ampere source so this is the given network so in nodal analysis our first step is mark the nodes so this is one node this is second then this is the third node and this is the fourth reference node and here between two nodes that is between one and two nodes there is a voltage source also between the first and third node another voltage source is there so we have to go for the super node analysis then mark the voltages let v1 v2 and v3 be the voltages now let us apply kvl between these two nodes that is kvl between one and two nodes we will get v1 plus 60 minus v2 equal to 0 that is here minus 2 plus so we have to write it plus 60 that is v1 minus v2 is equal to minus 60. So this is the first nodal equation. Now applying KVL between this first and third node. This KVL between first and third node. We will get v1 here plus 2 minus that is minus 100 minus v3 equal to 0 that is v1 minus v3 is equal to 100 so this is the second nodal equation now we have to apply super node at nodes 1 2 and 3 that is the nodes 1 2 and 3 have to combine together and consider it as the super node so applying kcl at nodes 1 2 and 3 we will get v1 divided by 25 then v2 that is plus v2 divided by 20 then plus v3 divided by 40 equal to here this 5 ampere current is flowing towards this node so it is positive 5 and considering v2 this 4 ampere current is flowing towards v2 that is plus 4 then by considering V3, 4 ampere current is flowing away from the node. That is minus 4. So, we will get equal to 5. So, this is the third nodal equation. So, we got 3 nodal equations. Now, we can write in matrix form. That is Y into V equal to I form. So, in matrix form, we can write 1, minus 1, 0. Then 1, 0, minus 1. 1 by 25, 1 by 20, 1 by 40. Into V1, V2, V3 equal to minus 60, 100 and 5. This again we can simplify into this form. That is 1 by 25 is 0 0.04. Then 0 0.05, 0 0.025. Now, we can find it the unknown voltages and here the question is to find the voltage across this 40 ohm resistor and power supplied by this 5 ampere current source so to find the voltage across 40 ohm resistor we have to find v3 then power supplied by the 5 ampere it is v1 into this current so we need only to find v1 and v3 so v1 is equal to delta 1 divided by delta and V3 is delta 3 divided by delta. So, V1 is equal to delta 1 divided by delta and V3 equal to delta 3 divided by delta. So, first of all find delta. That is delta is equal to determinant of Y matrix that is 1 into 0 plus 0 0.05 then minus of minus plus 1 into 0 0.025 plus 0 0.04 and that is equal to 0 0.115 
then delta 1 is equal to changing the first column elements with the current matrix elements that is minus 60, 100, then 5, then minus 1, 0, 0.05, 0, minus 1, 0, 0.025 and that is equal to minus 60 into 0 plus 0 0.05. Then minus of minus plus 1 into 100 into point two zero two five is 2 point ten plus 5 minus the 0 and that is equal to 4.5. Then delta 3 is equal to changing the third column elements with the current elements that is 1 1.0. 0, 4, minus 1, 0, 0, 0.05, then minus 60, 100 and 5, equal to 1 into 0, minus 0 0.05 into 100, that is minus 5, then minus of minus plus 1 into 5, minus 0, 0.04 into 100 that is 4 then minus 60 into point zero five, and that is 7 now we can find the values of V1 and V3 so V1 equal to delta 1 that is 4.5 divided by point one one five, and that is equal to 39.1 V volt, then V3 is equal to this is minus 7. So here delta 3 is minus 7, that is minus 7 divided by 0.115 and that is equal to minus 60.87. That much volt. Now V3 that is the voltage across 40 ohm resistor is equal to six, minus 60.87 volt. Now we have to find the power supplied by 5 ampere current source. So power is equal to V1 into 5 that is V1 is 39.13 into 5 is equal to 195.65 watts. So this is the power supply current source. So in this way we are doing the super node analysis. Let us do another problem. Determine the current in the 5 ohm resistor for the circuit shown. So this is the given network and the question is to find the current in 5 ohm resistor. So first of all mark the nodes. So this is node 1 then 2 3 then reference node 4. So there will be 4 minus 1 equal to 3 nodal equations. Then let V1, V2 and V3 be the voltages. So here we have to find the current in 5 ohm resistance. So we need only to find the value of V3. Now here there is a voltage source between node 2 and 3. So, node 2 and node 3 we have to combine together and consider it as the super node. So, let us write KCL at node 1 first. Applying KCL at node 1 we will get V1 divided by 3 plus V1 minus V2 divided by 2 equal to 10. Then after rearranging we will get V1 into 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 minus V2 into 1 by 2 equal to 10. That is again we can simplify 0.83 V1 minus 0.5 V2 equal to 10. So this is the first nodal equation. Now applying KCL at the super node that is KCL at the nodes 1 and 2 combined together, we will get V2 minus V1 divided by 2, then plus V2 divided by 1 plus V3 
here minus 10. V3 minus 10 divided by 5 plus V3 divided by 2 equal to 0. After rearranging, we will get here minus V1 by 2 then plus V2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 then plus V3 into 1 by 5 plus 1 by 2 then equal to here minus 10 by 5 then we will get minus 2 that is 2. Again we can simplify that is here minus 0.5 V1 plus 1.5 V2 then plus 0.7 V3 equal to 2. So this is the second in order equation. Now applying KVL. So KVL between second and third nodes we will get V2 here minus 20 V2 minus 20 minus V3 equal to 0. That is we can write V2 minus V3 equal to plus 20. So this is the third nodal equation. Now we can write in matrix form. That is we have got three nodal equations. Now write in matrix form. So in matrix form we can write point A3 minus point 5 0 minus point 5 1.5 point 7 0 1 minus 1 then v1 v2 v3 equal to 10 0 and 20 now we have to find the current in 5 ohm resistor so 5 ohm resistor is this one to find the current we need to find V3. So we have to find the value of V3 only. Using Cramer's rule V3 is equal to delta 3 divided by delta. So delta is the determinant of Y matrix that is determinant of this one that is 0.83 into 1.5 into minus 1 that is minus 1.5 then minus 0.7 then plus 0.5 into 0.5 minus 0 then 0 and that is equal to minus 1.576 then delta 3 equal to determinant of 0.83 minus 0.50 minus 0.5 1.51 then changing the third column elements with the current column elements 10 0 and 20 and that is equal to 0.83 into 1.5 into 20 minus 0 then plus 0.5 into minus 0.5 into 20 minus 0 then plus 10 into minus 0.5 minus 0 and that is equal to 14.9 so this is delta 3. Now we can find V3. V3 is equal to 14.9 divided by minus 1.576 and we will get minus 9.49. Then the question is to find the current through this 5 ohm resistor. So current through 5 ohm resistor is equal to V3 then minus 10 divided by 5. So V3 is minus 9.49 minus 10 divided by 5 and that is equal to minus 3.89. So minus 3.89 ampere. So this is negative 
because current is towards node 3 because here we taken that V3 minus 10. So actually the current direction is opposite that is the current flows towards this node 3. So in this way we are doing the super node analysis. So thank you for watching the class. If you like the classes please like, share and subscribe my channel.